Hey guys, and thanks for stopping on in for today's NBA Pick video play for December 28th, 2017. If you're interested in getting all of our NBA plays, you can access those over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this nightcapper here between the 76ers and the Trailblazers. Give our take on who we feel has the better edge against the spread. The road team today, the 76ers, coming in as about two and a half to three point underdogs. Of course, Philadelphia, they've been falling back a bit over the last couple of weeks. Wins have been a lot tougher for this team to come by, but the 76ers did show a positive sign in their last outing. They went on the road against the Knicks, picked up the win there by a final of 105 to 98, and Philadelphia going to try to carry that momentum over into this one in this West Coast trip here going all the way to Portland and try to build off of the momentum from that result given the fact that the 76ers, they had been riding a five-game losing streak prior to that and wins have not been easy for this group to come by over the last couple weeks of action. But still on the year, ranking eighth in the NBA in scoring, first in rebounding, third in assists. There's a great core for this young and up-and-coming Philadelphia team to build around. But the thing they need to improve on is, of course, their defensive consistency. They're 25th in the league right now in points allowed, and they have a plus-minus of about minus one point. So coming to this one today, not the easiest atmosphere to play in. The Portland Trailblazers are usually year in and year out a pretty tough team to beat at home, but that hasn't necessarily been the case this year. The Trailblazers actually have a better record on the road than what they have at home, which is pretty surprising. They're 17 and 16 overall, but just 7 and 10 on the road. And you compare that over to the 76ers, who are 15 and 18 overall, but a pretty respectable 8 and 9 on the road. So the 76ers showing that they can be just as good on the road as what they show at home, while the Blazers have actually been a little bit worse at home than what we've seen from them on the road in their last outing. Portland getting the job done on the road, beating the Lakers by a final of 95 to 92. But in their last couple of home outings prior to that, they lost to the Nuggets by 17 points, and they also lost to the Spurs by two points. This group right now, clearly a defensive-minded team right now. They're 23rd in the NBA in scoring compared to fourth in total team defense. They do have a positive plus-minus of about plus one and a half points. Also a pretty good rebounding team, eighth in the league in rebounding average, but they do not share the ball very well, which is one thing that we really don't like about this Portland team. They're 30th in the NBA in assists. They just have a lot of guys that get their own shots. They don't pass the ball all that well, and as a result, that's part of the reason why their offense has struggled to put up consistent numbers this year. We feel like a lot of this particular matchup is probably going to come down to the rebounding battle. Who's able to get those second chance scoring opportunities? Two of the better uh, rebounding teams in the league here, but the 76ers do have the overall edge on that end in getting those rebounds. So if they're able to limit what Portland is able to do offensively and then limit their second chance points, that would be a great recipe for success potentially today uh, for the Philadelphia 76ers in this road game. So coming into this one, we do feel like the 76ers getting the points is going to be the better value play here. If you agree with this pick, give the video a thumbs up. If you disagree, give it a thumbs down. You can check out all of our NBA plays over at stumpthespread.com. Link down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in. We hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.